Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with If I Could Choose Only One Work by Composer X, it would have to be Work Omega. Well, Composer X is Olivier Messiaen. Now, this is a tricky call. It really is, because remember, we are presenting this work to the evil god Cancrazans, who has threatened to destroy all of classical music, but for one work per composer, because he's disgusted with the classical music snobitude and, and, and the craziness of the record labels and their inability to promote the product. He says, well, if you aren't going to sell it, you can't have it. You know, well, that's, that's his attitude. And it's difficult with Messiaen because, as you know, Messiaen knew God personally, but a different one. And so we don't want there to be an argument. I have to make sure that Cancrozans is not irritated by the fact that Messiaen was so thoroughly devoted to that other god and represented it. So it represented that other god and that, that religious doctrine so comprehensively in his actual work. And choosing a work by Messiaen was a little tricky for that reason, because, you know, you would think maybe we should do the Tarangalela Symphony, but the Tarangalela Symphony has no religious aspect to it. Or you could just pick one of the religious works. But the religious works, I mean, you know, they're, you sort of have to be Messiaen's kind of Catholic to get all of them. I mean, really get into them, I think. I mean, I, I enjoy them. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I like you know, the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a terrific piece. And the vision de la main and the vingt regards sur l'enfant Jésus and, you know, all of those things are, are, are marvelous pieces of music. But I, they're marvelous for me because I ignore the doctrinaire, you know, aspects of them. But I can't expect everybody to do that. And I can't expect Cancrozans, who was a god himself, to ignore the god parts. I mean, that's just, that's just courtesy, right? So, um, at the end of the day, what I had to pick was, and I really think this is a good pick anyway, frankly, as a representation of everything that Messiaen did, was Des Canyons aux Etoiles, From the Canyons to the Stars. It's a big instrumental slash orchestral work, although the constitution of the ensemble is unique to that work. Um, it does everything Messiaen does. It has his Hindu rhythm things. It has a lot of the nature stuff. You've got birds. You gotta have birds. If it's Messiaen, you gotta have lots of birds. It's got bird songs and tweety, chirpy things. It has solo keyboard, solo piano. Some of you have suggested a solo organ work, and I can understand that because he was one of the great organ composers of all time. But that again, um, that's a somewhat limited, limited range of things, even though it was his instrument. So, so yes, you've got you've got bird things, and you've got piano things, and you've got the religious aspect. You have you have the stars. You have Zion Park and the heavenly spheres and the the interstellar call on the solo horn. And you've got, you know, it has the spiritual component. But again, it's a relatively non-doctrinaire spiritual component, which I think will, will go down better with both many listeners and with the deity in question. It's a long work. It's a difficult work uh, in terms of you know, in endurance and style. It's not as tuneful as the Tarangalela Symphony, although the ending is, you know, with that gorgeous, yummy chord and, and the, the gongs crashing and, oh my God, it's phenomenal. But it still, it still has, you know, his characteristic interest in different sounds. You've got, you've got a wind machine that goes swoosh, 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 swoosh. And you've got a geophone, he called it, which is basically a, a canister of sand. <laughs> you tip it, it goes swish, 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 you know, bag of rocks, you know, something like that. It rattles about. Um, and it, 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 like all of his music, it's non-developmental. In other words, it just sort of repeats itself in blocks. It's kind of, if, if Bruckner had been an avant-garde French composer, he would have sounded just like Messiaen.
And perhaps for the same reason, because I think to a certain extent, the religious element in his music, as in Bruckner's, manifests itself in this feeling that there are certain things that are that are doctrinal truths that are that are inarguable and the result is a certain block-like rotation of musical elements i mean it manifests itself in his art his way he thought the way that he thought about it the way that he thought about it. you know when bruckner wrote a chorale that chorale is its own sort of block thing and then it stops and something else happens because because there's no question that that's the existence of god right or something like that, maybe. I, I really hear that. I hear I hear that sense of of the music as an expression of what the composer regarded as certain eternal verities which are unchanging. And therefore the music does not develop and evolve in a normal way or in the way that we expected it to in the classical era, or according to the laws of classical tonality. So work omega. In this particular in this particular series has to be messians from the canyons to the stars and if you don't know it you really ought to listen to it it's just an amazing amazing piece it's a challenge to get through the whole thing it has like 10 movements or something like a lot of these sweet type things that he did and some of them are are harmonically very very challenging and some of them are somewhat thinly scored and and require a certain amount of concentration but they are fascinating and you know each, each movement is based on um, the American landscapes that Messian encountered on one of his trips out west um, to Zion Park and Bryce Canyon and the Grand Canyon and all those places I've been you know and many of us have seen them and they are they are extraordinary inspirations for an extraordinary work in the personal style of one of the 20th century's great composers and so what more could you ask for right keep on listening friends Thanks for joining me.